Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't filmed in a while and I just have a lot of content just sitting there needing to be edited but if you haven't noticed my hair is a little different because I got a highlight to put into my head and he just dyed my um, roots brown so that when my roots do grow out it will look natural. I don't have to worry about blonde shampoo, I don't have to worry about the colour because before it was like an orangey dirty blonde not dirty blonde but an orange caramel blonde and now it is lighter which I do like and he also cut it short um, as you can see it's just here usually it's way longer if you watch my past videos my hair has been long for the longest time and I think this is the shortest it's been in five years so anyways this is going to be an end of year collective makeup haul I don't think I have that much but I do know that my collective um, fashion haul is going to be heaps long because I bought a lot of stuff just for my trip for when I go overseas to Barakai but anyways let's get started into the makeup first thing I have here is just stuff I bought from Chemist Warehouse and so the first thing I have here is Hydra Light Hydra Light this is the orange offensive electrolyte tablet and this is what it looks like this is the box it comes in a tube like this you get um, 20 tablets I think and you're supposed to drink two tablets in one cup but sometimes I just drink one and I bought this for Barakai just for when I get like smashed and overly off my face so the next day I'll just drink this um, with a kick of vitamin C and I'll feel fine again but as it says on the box it helps replace water and electrolytes lost due to vomiting for when I drink um, diarrhea, heavy sweating, vigorous exercise and excess alcohol consumption. So this is what I've used before and it actually does help but that one time I actually did use it, I think I ever drank and when I took this I threw up even more but um, I don't know, I think this do help. So the second thing I have here is just a shampoo, this is the L'Oreal Paris L5 Color Protect protecting shampoo and this is the red one so this shampoo conceals color protects hair prolongs radiance and it's for colored or highlighted hair which I do have and this is what my hairdresser told me to buy he said I could use any shampoo because before when I had blonde hair I had to use um, blonde specific shampoo but I could use anything but the best thing that I could use is this and so I decided to buy this it's not that big it's only 250 mils which I'll probably bring with me to when I go to Boracay and this little bottle is what he gave me um, for when I did my hair this is called the high lift curlplex bond sustainer number three professional home care so um, when he did my hair he did the step one and step two in my hair and after when he washed my hair and rinsed it off with this afterwards my hair was so soft I could run my fingers through it you know how sometimes when you go to the hairdresser um, after you come home it feels really nice and then the next day when you take a shower your hair feels all rough and dry again but this one it doesn't I actually use this um, all the time now so just like a treatment after you shampoo you put this in and leave it in your hair for five minutes and then you wash it off and when I blow dry my hair straight with the brush it feels really soft and look right now I can run my fingers through my hair it's soft it doesn't feel dry and yeah so this is a little miracle worker and I really do like this the next thing I have is something from Mac I've been wanting this for a while um, it's a highlight and I been using liquid highlights and um, stick highlights and I really like it and so I really wanted this. I was having a toss up between the Barnes May Mary Luminizer because everyone always uses that or this one which is the MAC um, Mineralizer and this is what I got. This is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finisher and this one is in Soft and Gentle. I've been using this as a highlight on my cheeks down my nose and I really do like it because it gives me a really nice dewy glowy look on my cheeks and it really does highlight and I really do like this this is kind of expensive it was I think $47 and the the balms highlight was only 36 ish so I don't know I just bought this one first and I went for this one it's really pricey but you don't need that much so I think it's reasonable and um, it will last you for and it will last me for a while. These things I have here are from Sephora. My friend gave me a $100 gift card from Sephora. Was it $100? I think so. Yes. My friend gave me a $100 gift card from Sephora and I finally went into the store and spent it. And so the first thing I have here is a beauty blender. I already have one and I overuse it. I use it so much. I love it. I don't use foundation brush. I don't use any buffing brush. 
I use the Beauty Blender for my foundation, my concealer. Um, I would also use it for to contour as well. So I use it for my whole face, and so that's why I decided to buy another one. This one is so small and cute. Um, it looks really, really tiny. Hopefully, it's the same size as the other one. Maybe because the other one I've used so much, and now it's a bit big and exposed. But this one is really tiny and cute, and I really do like it. So this is a backup or a spare one in case when the other one's dirty, I'll use this one. The next thing I have here is just a Sephora eyeshadow. This is a shimmer, and it is called Morning Freshness Number Two Two Five. Um, as I said, I was looking for a highlight. I couldn't really find a nice highlight from Sephora, from the Sephora line, and this is an eyeshadow. So I decided to use this as a highlight in the meantime. This is what I was using before. I had my soft and gentle from Mac, and um, you can use it on your eyelids as well. But because now I have the Mac mineralizer, I don't use this anymore. But I guess you know I can still have use from it. I can still use it as an eyeshadow. The next thing I have here is a Sephora. Highlight Low Light Face Contour Duo and this is what it looks like. The thing that caught me out is it says it's hot in the US with that sticker right here. This one is in number 4 deep. There was a lighter version and I think that one wasn't that great for my skin as in I didn't like the brown contour stick and that's why I got this darker color and I don't really use the light side, I use the dark side to contour instead and I really do like this. Um, my sister has the Smashbox contour duo stick and I have the Sephora one. I've been using this for a while and um, you can use your hands, you can use fingers and you can use a sponge to blend it out but I really do like using the beauty blender, a damp beauty blender instead of my brush because it doesn't blend properly but I'll show you guys now how I use it on my nose because I don't have any contour on my nose at the moment. is what it looks like when I contour my nose. I just roughly did it but I hope it looks good. I don't know. So yes, this is what I use when I want to contour my face. I'll apply it down my cheeks bones here and here and down my nose. The last thing I bought from Sephora is a Sephora eyeshadow palette. It feels like I bought a few Sephora branded line products. So this is the um, eyeshadow palette from Sephora. This one is the Eat palette and this one's in Delicate Nude. It comes in this box. I'll just open it real quick. It looks like a faux nude snake skin and I really do like it. As you can see. And it opens up like this. So you get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 eyeshadows. Some is nude and some is shimmer. You get a double-ended eyeshadow brush and also a brown eyeliner. Um, I really do like this. This is a nice highlight color and this is my four favorite color. I've used this eyeshadow palette before for when I went to IMADS and it kind of reminds me of the Naked, of the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette because it has all these light nudes and pinks and mauves in it. and the pigmentation is alright. Like the only reason why I bought this eyeshadow palette is because every time I go for a nude look I end up putting brown eyeshadows on the ends and my eyeshadow turns out for a smoky look which I don't want. This is what I want to use as an everyday um, wear thing which it does give me. It's very light. It doesn't look over the top and dramatic. I haven't used the brush yet. I haven't used the eyeliner but I'll use it now. Tested the eyeliner out on my eyes yesterday and this is like a gunmetal brown eyeliner pencil and I'll just apply it on my eyes now. So it looks like it's not very dark black which gives the eyes a dramatic look. This is a bit lighter than that so it's a dark brown which I do like and I can use this as an everyday wear because I just ran out of my brown eyeliner. So this is a good thing for me to have. The next things I have here, the few things I have here is from the face shop. My friend went to Cairns, Cairns, C-A-I-R-N-S, I don't know how to pronounce it. But she went there with her boyfriend and her boyfriend's dad for a holiday. She borrowed my suitcase and I, you know, I wasn't expecting her to get me anything because it's Australia. I don't think that she would find me any makeup up there. But she said it was very cheap and like I think she was saying how the people up there don't wear much makeup. So that's why the makeup was kind of like um, on sale and stuff. So this is the few things she got me. She got me this makeup bag which... 
it's very different I wouldn't really normally go for this but this is something I have which is good because I needed another makeup bag for when I go overseas she got me um, this the face shop what is this um, dewy flower moist loose powder and this is in 13 pink beige a lot of people have been using that bake method where you apply tons of mineral loose powder on your under your eyes to lighten it up and that's what I've been doing as well sometimes I've been putting a lot of loose powders on my concealer just so that concealer doesn't crease and it stays in place and she said this is very good for baking I guess so you apply heaps underneath your eyes and then you dust it all off and she has one too she also gave me heaps of this samples um, I've got the Herb Day Cleansing Emulsion Green Tea from the face shop I've also got heaps of this soft and hydrated vital red soil purifying foam cleanser and this is another sample but as you can see I've got heaps of it but I don't think I'll use it because I have my own skincare and if I use something else I think I'll start to break out again so the next thing she gave me was the phytogenic powder foundation SPF 20 this one is in R31 caramel I really do like how it has this functioning plastic cover thing it doesn't come apart so it keeps the brush away from the powder as you can see the powder is way too dark for me she thinks that this will be good for contouring as in the darker areas around my cheeks and my forehead instead of using it as an all over face powder or I could use this when I am darker I haven't used this yet so I'm not too sure how this goes but the packaging is really nice and functional next thing I have here is a automatic lip liner and this one is in number five brown I don't know how to open it oh here you go so it is in a green packaging stick and one side is the lip liner and the other side is a lip brush as you can see I don't really use any of this product yet the brown is very dark as you can see and it glides on so easy and it's very pigmented as well it looks like a burnt brownish red color it doesn't look totally brown it looks a bit like there's red in there as well the last few things I have here is the lipsticks um, she got me four lipsticks and this is what is it I think this is the black label lipstick I've searched online you can't really find it so I think this is an old collection but I really do like this lipsticks um, the one I currently use is kind of my favorite it's very buttery it's moisturizing and it doesn't dry out your lips which is good because um, after a while your lips start to you know dry out because I drink a lot of water and when I drink lots of water my lips go crusty and so this one is my favorite color and this one is a like a nude kind of um, coral color it's a pinkish coral color this one is in the number two soft coral I'll just swatch it for you I use this all the time it's a good everyday wear this is in number 12 juicy orange and this is more of a coral color I might as well put it on to show you guys what it looks like hey <laughs> it feels like a lip gloss but it's very pigmented like a lipstick do you know what I mean like when you first apply a first layer you can already see that the color goes on to the lips the third one she got me is in number four sunset orange and this is like an orange tone red and it is very bright if you really look at it it's bright orange with a little bit of a red undertone this last one she got me she really 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 loves and I really do like it too but it is not the season to use it um, I think I'll use this more for when it's autumn and winter and this one is called trendy wine in number nine so this is more of a wine purple lip color as you can see there it's not too bright and it's deep and dark and I really do like it and so this is all I have to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will upload my collective makeup haul after this when I have time. I really need to put a rush on the editing and filming but I will be going to Boracay this Sunday. So tomorrow is my sister's birthday and then I fly out to Boracay. So I'm very excited for that. I've bought a few things for it. Um, I will vlog my trip there as much as I can every time when people ask me where I'm going I say borrow card they don't know but if you do know thumbs up for you anyways thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys